Interview and job search strategies at work. Episode 26. I'd like to talk to you today about uh, how to start your own company, how to start your own business. You know, you have an idea or not, you just want to start something. Doesn't matter what it is, doesn't matter, really doesn't. You just want to start one, you just want to fail. You want to learn, like, what does this mean to have my own company? You know, I want to go to the water cooler at work, or I want to be cool at school to have a company. Whatever it is. Here, here we go. Watch this. So, before you even get started, you need an address uh, where you're going to mail the, um, where you're going to have the business at, right? It can either be their home address, if it's an LLC or a C Corp, or you can do a, a PO box at a, a U, U, um, UPS store, or not UPS store, the uh, post office box. You know, everybody has a, a post office box in their town. You can have it there. So they're about $90 a year, roughly, right? You can also have it at a UPS store, and they're quite a bit more. Uh, the benefit you get with the UPS store is when you have a company, let's say, out of state, and you don't live in that state, and it's an LLC, you can have that mail delivered, your uh, company mail delivered to the UPS store, mailbox, right? You own a mailbox there, whatever the mailbox is. Like it's, it's like a PMB, whatever. Like your address would be like such and such, street number, you know, PMB, blah, 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 one, two, three, whatever it is, and then the city and state. PMB is like, stands for, um, uh, I believe it stands for private mailbox, I believe. Anyway, so for instance, you're in another state, you live in another state, but your address for your business is somewhere else. So you just call up UPS store and say, hey, would you please forward my mail to me, you know, send me my mail to me, and they will happily do it for a fee. Usually they're like 300 a year for the mailbox. And um, like I said, a, a post office box in your city or a near city where you live at, that's probably like $90 to $100, depending on where it is. And that's the size, the smallest size, right? And you just check that every now and then, right? Or your home address, or your apartment, or whatever um, that you are at, or relative's house, whatever. So that takes care of your mailbox where it's going to be delivered to, where the mail from the business is going to be delivered to. So low end is 100 bucks, or sorry, low end is free. The high end is 300 bucks a year. A year. So the next thing is to start a, um, go to the, in your state, you can do this online. It's usually the Secretary of State's office, usually. Um, what you do there is, you go there and you, you can, you, first you, you can just Google it really. How do I start a company uh, in my state, right? And they'll usually point you to a, um, a Secretary of State's website, you know, right? So usually, I know like in um, some states, uh, it's $50 to start a company. So that's your LLC number. That's like a uh, charter, call it like a charter number, something like that. And so you have that. And for those who are playing at home, you're up to $350 now, the high end. $50 a low end, $350 the high end. That's what you're going to pay so far. Haven't done anything yet. So you got that. So you put your name, like, you know, who the business owner is, the name of the company, that's important. Um, the address of the company, that's really important. And then you pay the 50 bucks. Usually online, you can pay online, you know. And so there you go. So the, the next step is to have your uh, tax ID number. So the tax ID number doesn't come from the state. That comes from the federal. So you have a you have a sales tax ID number, and then you have a, a a federal tax ID number. So the sales tax ID number means you can sell, sorry, sell goods and services in that state. You know, for like, um, well, prime example, um, people that sell computers. Uh, what happens is they buy it from a wholesaler. And then they put their tax ID number in when they buy it, meaning they don't pay taxes on the stuff that they buy from the wholesaler. 
they pay taxes on the stuff they buy sell you. For instance, like if they sell it to you at let's say they buy it from the wholesaler for a hundred dollars, one computer, whatever it is, right? And they sell it to you for two hundred dollars, but the tax is eight. The tax is eight percent. They're gonna sell it to you for two hundred and sixteen dollars, right? Because it's eight percent. Oh wait, yeah, that's right. Yep, two hundred eighteen dollars. It's eight percent, right? Um, yeah. So that's they're gonna have to pay taxes on it, right? So that's the ta- sales tax ID number. Now the federal tax ID number. Going back to that, the tax ID number from the federal. It's like a TIN or tax ID number. That one is free from the irs.gov. Go in there, you just tell them what your business is, what the address is, and they'll generate a tax ID for you. That's how easy that is. So what are you up to now? We're up to $350 high end and $50 low end just to start your company. So that's it, really. Um, The other thing you'll have to look out for, so if you have a set, if you have a, tax ID or a sales tax ID, what will happen is the state will mail you um, quarterly, uh, what do they call them, vouchers, not vouchers, but you're going to pay taxes quarterly because their thinking is you have a sales tax ID, so um, you're you're getting money. So, you know, you need to pay the, the quarterly tax, right? And you can either tell them you're not paying tax, you know, you're not selling anything, which most likely, you know, you're not in some cases, which is fine, but you still have a taxi number. You just haven't sold anything yet. And they understand that, right? Um, so they, they get it. So you haven't sold anything yet, but you still have a sales tax ID number. So they're going to send you a form and you just say, oh, I haven't sold anything yet. And they say, okay, you don't owe anything. Done. Um, in, that, in that case, you can just like, you know, say, hey, I don't, I don't sell anything. So just give, you know, um, I'll give, or you can dissolve the tax ID number for the state, meaning you just get rid of it, right? And there's a form you fill out, right? Every state's different. Um, So that's that's that there. Um, So the next step is, right, to, you don't even need a company. I mean, you don't even need a website, really. You can go on Twitter, you can go on Facebook, and you can start your own company name, you know, a group name, right? Or you can go to wordpress.com and get a free account. Uh, Just whatever your name, your company's name. Let's say, for instance, your company's name is mysupercoolcompany.com. So um, you just go to WordPress and do mysupercompany.wordpress.com. There's your website, right? It's free. Um, So you've spent nothing so far other than the $50 for those who are following at home. Or up to $350. And for those who know my friend Dean, who is chirp or cheap, this will be perfect for him. Um, so what have we gotten? We've gotten the, so far we've got the company. We have uh, have the LLC. We have the charter ID. We have the tax ID from the federal. We have the company name. We have the address set up uh, where our mail is going to our company. We have our hosting taken care of. Like, how do people know about us, right? Uh, you can do Twitter, which is free. You can do, gosh, uh, WordPress. Um, yeah. Uh, if you want to make a logo for your site, right? Um, there's a good website called Logo Maker. It's like L O G O M A K U R, I think, dot com. Yeah. So the. So the other thing you could do is probably pretty cool, right? Is go to go to Gmail and sign up for Gmail because um, Gmail you'll get two things free. You'll get a YouTube account, like you can get a YouTube account, like YouTube doc, or like say what do we say my my awesome website or my awesome what did I say whatever it was dot com. You could just do a, a logo, uh, a YouTube channel of your company. That's free. You get free advertising. Um, you also get like a blog spot um, URL. So whatever your myawesomecompany.blogspot.com, let's say, you have that instead of your WordPress. Uh, the other thing is Google will help you search. Uh, they'll do the work for you, right? You just have to put the data out there and somebody's going to find you. You know, that's what Google does. They 
help people find you. So um, Google's huge. They're everywhere in the world. So just put your data out there. Um, so the other thing is, like, how do you, you know, how do you, you don't have anything, right? You think, oh, I don't have anything to give. You probably do. Um, whatever your company is, like, whatever your idea really is that you want to do, just start making something. And make a video about it, right? And then just tweet about it. Do a Twitter post. Um, just put on social media, Instagram, you know, for example. Those are the two that uh, come to mind right now. Um, you know, and just start building content. The other thing is, since we're on Anchor right now, I'm talking to you, Anchor. Set up an Anchor. Set up an Anchor podcast for yourself, your company, so that you're you're known. I mean, just start creating content. You know, you can start doing this when you're in high school or whatever age, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years old, 100 years old. doesn't matter. You can start doing it. You're you're not, I mean, everybody probably wants to, some quick fix or whatever. It doesn't work that way. You know, it never does. It, it never is going to work quick fix. It never does. Um, but if you just start, you know, every day, just more data. Because what happens is this. If you do it perfect one time, <laughs> where, what have you, you didn't learn anything, you know, you know, and you're going to, you're going to, if, if people, most people quit after the one, oh, it's dry, I quit, okay, I quit. Well, that, guess what, there are 7 billion people in the world out there. Somebody's going to like your, uh, somebody's going to like what you have. Somebody's going to pay for it, somebody's going to do it. Somebody's going to say, oh, I like your product, you know. Your personality really comes out. And if you don't do anything like that, you don't let them know, they aren't going to know who you are. If you don't tell people about your company, no one knows who you are. And they're not going to buy from you. And, you know, they're not going to, you know, yeah. I mean, a hundred different things you can think of, right? And, you know, local uh, mom and pop shops, just talk, tell them about your company. Start talking about you yourself. No one's going to sell you unless you sell yourself, right? So, uh, yeah, those are just some, um, you know, some good uh, tips about um, starting a company and uh, how you can do things like that. So, yeah, um, right. So, okay, well, thanks, everybody, for viewing this podcast, and have a great day.